In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take multiple athletes sensor CSV data from the Catapult Openfield software and combine them and put them into a tidy format that makes analysis a lot easier. I've explained the whole process in a post on my website that you can find here at this link. And that site also contains the code here that you can use on your own computer using your own data. The way this works is I've got a, a parent folder here called season 2020 and that contains a folder and you can have a series of folders that actually house the CSVs that you export from Openfield. And if we open one up, we can see that the one of the issues that stops us from easily analyzing this data is firstly that there's these eight rows of metadata at the top, meaning that it's not in the tidy format and also that each file is, is only data for one player. So we can't do any analysis where we include all the players without doing a lot of manual work where we have to remove these rows and then copy and paste each athlete's files into the one file. Thankfully, we can use r, &R Studio to do a lot of the manual work for us and automate a large portion of that. So the first thing we need to do is load these packages. If you haven't installed them for the first time, you'll need to use the install.packages function to install them, but I've already installed them, so I can just load them up with the library function. Then we need to set the working directory. And the working directory is just the folder that we're gonna be working from for this analysis. And I've set it manually here, just for those that aren't too familiar with R, so they can follow along and they can just punch in uh, where the, the folder that they wanna work from is. But ideally, you will learn how to operate in more of a project orientated workflow using the, the project capabilities of RStudio. And I've linked in my post to a really good resource about where you can learn about that because that essentially takes away the need to uh, shift working directories yourself. It does it for you. But I'll run that. So now I'm my working directory is that season 2020 folder. Then I need to assign this folder underscore name variable and that needs to be the exact same name of the folder within my working directory that I want to analyze of the folder, the files within it that I want to analyze. And it's also really important, and I've explained this here in the comments and also in my post, that it needs to be a two part name or string separated by a blank space. So for me, round one is fine, or you could also have versus opponent or week two or something like that and that's fine, but it just can't be like one word or three words or something like that. So I'll run that and now that's defined here. My folder underscore name is round one. So then I've got this custom function here called read plus. And what that will do is I, when I apply it to a file, it will skip the first eight rows of the metadata. It'll keep these columns with the, the data that I'm primarily interested in. It'll pull in the file name and you can see that the file name that comes naturally out of Openfield is actually really useful because it has the activity name, export for, player name, and then the, the unit ID. So if I'll pull the, the file name into a column into this data frame, and then I'll split the file name up into its relevant parts. So I can actually just have the activity name in one column and the player name in another column. So I'll run that and now I've got this read underscore plus function defined and now I'm going to define a data frame called combine and tidy which will list all the files in the folder that I've defined up here my round one folder and it'll apply this read plus function to all of them so if I run that I've now got this combine and tidy data frame up here that if I click on, the data is now in the exact format that I was after. It's, it's removed the rows from the top that I didn't need and it's also created these three columns at the end. One, the folder column that is the file, uh, the folder underscore name variable that we've defined in the code and also an activity and player column that it's taken from the file name. And also, I only had two players in my folder here, the player X and player Y. And it's also combined both of their files and put it into the one data frame. So I've got player X up top here, but if I scroll down, I've got player Y. And finally, I'm gonna 
export this combine and tidy data frame into a new CSV with the right CSV function. So if I run that in my working directory, I'll now have this new file for me, which is called round one underscore tidy dot CSV. But for you, it'll be anything that you uh, entered as your folder underscore name variable underscore tidy. So it could be versus your opponent underscore tidy or something like that. And if we open that up, the data is now in a tidy format, making it really easy to manipulate and analyze and visualize in any, any way that you'd like. And that's pretty well it. If you got some value out of the video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel because I'm hoping to make some more content like this in the future, more tutorial style stuff. So yeah, cheers.